Okay, a separate upload should be here. Yes, my brother is playing music from Banjo-Kazooie on the piano. Okay. Oh, you can't see this. Because it is so dark. Plus this video is as long as a snake. A really big snake. Really long snake. But anyway, you can't even see this except for like right here where the buttons are. That's all you can see. So I have to show this better. Only thing is, this light magically came unplugged or maybe it just stopped working. Turned out the plug on the light had come only slightly loose. But here it is. Oh, you're seeing recorders that you might not see videos of quite yet. Oh! Oh, not a full one on this one either. But today's focus is this G E made in Japan. There is another guy on YouTube same model and I saw his video before I even found mine I was knew it was one that I'd like to get seeing that it was AC bias although he mistakenly thought it was DC bias but the sound quality sounded so incredibly good and so low on background noise it was undoubtedly AC bias but finally at an estate sale I found it I actually found this at the estate sale where the YouTube video estate sale day October 2, 2010. That the estate sale that I filmed in that video was the estate sale I got this recorder at. And it was owned by a doctor. So, guess what? There's a band-aid mark on the back. And while I'm at it, I'll show you the model number and everything. That you can't see because it's too dark, and then I'll show you it has a battery cover for. Computer six batteries, C size. I hate computers. I hate computers. I hate computers, and a cord. I hate computers. A thing for the cord. I hate computers. It's a white power cord. I hate computers. 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 It has a storage compartment for the hate computers mic. This microphone is not the best quality though. The Sony F96 is a whole lot better sounding than this mic. Chris continues to play banjo kazooie. Music on the piano. And it has vertical vents and a four inch speaker right in there. And if you'll if the lighting is just right, now this looks like it has a black case but it actually has a very dark green case which you can only notice if it's the light shining on it is just right then you might just be able to notice that it's actually a very dark green but it's hard to see sometimes 
most of the time. It's a very dark green. Like you see the black on the volume control, or you see this black tape. It is different. Okay, enough with the chat. This video is longer than 15 minutes and it will be uploaded to my cassette 26 account. Okay, here we go. Rewind is weak thanks to a loose belt. I hate computers. You can start it turning with play and then you can start rewinding and it does a slowish, sluggish, not that great rewind. But if you hold down play a little bit, just before it engages to play, the rewind is faster. This trick works with many tape recorders of this time period. Late 60s, early 70s, type that use the piano key controls. Many of them will do that. If you hold play down a little bit before it engages the take up reel to turn, while you're holding rewind, it would let the idler off the flywheel just a little bit so the loose belt can get enough traction to still turn it because it's not as much friction trying to turn the wheel that normally is tighter against the flywheel and then it will then rewind better. Huh? Talk about the Subaru on here. You're saying it too fast. I can't. Talk about the Subaru on here. Let's record it. General Electric. Examine it as you do, sir. And hold the mic. It's kind of wide for a recorder. I usually wouldn't see a recorder this wide, I guess. Uh, oh, it's like got a little uh, compartment for a mic. It's a pretty cool little compartment. Seems to just kind of uh, come off. Um, it says two-way power. I can turn the volume up and down. I guess I'll move it a little bit and then just keep it at the uh, middle at five. I'm hearing over 9,000 Sparta remix. Oh. Mm. It has a pretty good length uh, for a microphone. I like the length. I can kind of just come over here with it freely. Um, Vegeta, what does this guy to say about his power level? It's over 9,000. What 9,000? There's no way that can be right. And now he's starting up. A little bit. No, continue that. Oh, go, 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 go back, please. Go, go, gadget. Oh my gosh, go, go, gadget. I've seen that. Oh, I'm test with the Sony microphone. We'll be comparing it with the General Electric microphone. And now I'm using the General Electric microphone to see how it sounds to compare. Let's see how this is. Right. We're sitting there in the cooler, playing at home, and I just came out from under your bed and go, ah, 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 worst toast, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Laura gets scared. Ah, 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 ah. Electronics, written and illustrated by Ricky Klein. Miss Fields class, up when left school, 2001 to 2002. Learning Resources Incorporated, Topeka, Kansas. Nationwide corporation, dedicated to mom and dad. Capacitors. In the picture, there are two, some capacitors. One is 100 PF. Two more are 1 UF. The capacitors charge up electricity and discharge like a battery. In DC power supplies, you will usually find a capacitor. Resistors. These are some resistors. On most resistors, you will find colored stripes. The colored stripes are coded for how many 
OHMS. 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 The resistor is. Some resistors will tell you what the ohms are by using numbers. Transformers. Have you ever seen a trash can looking thing on a pole? Those are not trash cans, but transformers. Some transformers make the voltage higher. Some make the voltage lower. LEDs. LEDs are colorful light bulbs that look nice. On lots of things you will see colorful lights. Those are LEDs. You will also see them on toys. LEDs stand for light emitting diodes. You will learn about diodes on the next page. Diodes. Diodes only allow electricity to flow one way. Some transformers can be plugged into a wall outlet and change AC to DC. If it does, diodes. that means that there is a diode. Speakers. Do you want to know how a speaker works? A voice coil and a magnet will vibrate a paper cone. The paper cone will make the sounds. Microchips. Inside a computer, there are a lot of microchips for memory. They are used in lots of other things, too. Motors. You would probably have toys that move. They use motors. Motors are used in fans. They are very useful. Capacitors, resistors, transformers, LEDs, diodes, speakers, microchips, and motors are all part of electronic things. All those recordings you have heard were recorded using this recorder. As you can clearly hear, this recorder's quality is absolutely fantastic. The quality they put on this thing is, is really, really, really good. Really clear. Really good frequency response. It just sounds great. It's got a good, really strong amp. It's really sensitive to sound. It's a very, very good machine. Those are recordings I made when my friends were over here on the second to the last day of 2010. My friend Evan and my friend Ethan. Evan was the one who described the recorder. Ethan was the one who read my book on electronics that I wrote when I was 10 years old. So, and you got an idea of how it recorded music just through recording the Sparta remix, not Sparta, um, over 9,000 remix thingy from these speakers and on the server not found computer. And even from sitting over here and the microphone around here or so and picking up friends talking over there, just this thing picks up really good. This recorder did work when I get it, except it had a leaky capacitor I had to replace because the amp was weak. After replacing it, the amp was stronger. And also the record play switch had a was working at first. But then I went to record one time and it was in playback mode. I opened it up and found that a little plastic piece that moves in and out of the record play switch, the part that's pulled by a little lever, had broken. So I had to glue it back together using epoxy glue and after letting it dry for 24 hours, the record play switch functions well and nicely. And also from the fact that the record play switch was, I mean, had broken, the, the little plastic piece had broken, and the record play switch only is activated when it's put into record mode, is actually a marking of history. Although I had no tapes with this recorder when I got it, what was obviously noted by that breakage of the switch was that in the past this recorder would have probably have been used a whole lot for recording things and not just playing back pre-recorded tapes. A lot of recording must have been done with this machine in the past and indeed the doctor who owned it picked out a great recorder because the quality is just incredible. The same doctor, the same estate sale, I also got this Iowa Real Trivia, which is also AC bias, and I had to do 
uh, good amount of work to get this thing going. 